Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related with a little bit of emphasis on the brands Vera Bradley and Lug. I also occasionally, rarely, do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all these beautiful bags that I love. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang out. So today's video is my small little Vera Bradley haul from the recent friends and family sale that they had. So I picked up a few items and I'm going to share them with you guys. So let's get started. So the first item that I picked up is actually this throw blanket. I'm going to try to hold up the edge and show, show it to y'all, but I'll insert a picture at some point because this thing is enormous. This is the king size throw blanket in fresh cut floral and it's gorgeous. The picture does not do it justice by any means. But here's part of it. It's It's got all of these soft kind of pastel florals in it. There's, there's actually like a highlighter yellow, if you can see part of that. And then there's blues and pinks and grays. And it's offset with this kind of um, navy trim, if you can see that. But it's... It's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, the photos online and the photo I'm going to show you right now does not do this throw blanket justice. It is absolutely stunning in person, in my opinion. So that was the first item I picked up. The king size throw blanket in fresh cut floral. The next items that I got were two sets of the placemats in patriotic plaid and we've already started using these and I've already had to wash them one time because I have the best kids in the entire world y'all I, I know every parent wants to think that their kids are the best but really mine are the best <laughs> I'm just kidding I do have awesome kids though I have an eight-year-old daughter and I have a 19 year old son so we had dinner last night. We had some barbecue chicken. It was really, really good. And my son was being his amazing, awesome self, and he was cleaning up after dinner for me. And the pan that the chicken was in, was it was one of those throwaway aluminum pans. And he had taken the leftover chicken out and put it in a container to put in the fridge. And the, the foil pan had apparently got a little hole in it somewhere at some point. And when he went to throw it away, he had sat it on the dining table on one of my placemats. And we didn't realize it, but it leaked onto it. All of this barbecue sauce. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, I kind of panicked a little bit thinking it was going to stain. But I was like, you know, if it does, it does. It is what it is. It's just a placemat. Like, whatever. And he, like I said, he was trying to be super helpful and he was cleaning up the kitchen for me. So there was no way in hell I was going to say anything, you know, negative about it. I just grabbed him up really quick and I threw him in the wash and there's no stain at all, you guys. Like, I can show you each one of them. There's no stain. I don't even know which one the barbecue sauce got on. So... They went through the wash really, really well. They're, they're, they haven't held stains. They're a good, you know, I feel like they're a good thickness, a good plushy material for a placemat. The back side has that interior. Um, they're just great. I'm super, super happy that I finally picked these up. The one thing that I can tell y'all, and I'll show you, I can see it more on this one, I think is after I washed them, I did notice that a few like stray threads started to show. Like if you can see that one right there. And there's one or two just here and there. But like I'm not gonna lie, I didn't wash these by themselves. Like I threw some other stuff in with it because that's that's a waste of a, a washing load if you ask me so like I threw some of my husband's work clothes in with it I just made a whole load and washed it so 
you know, they weren't in there by themselves. I didn't treat them delicately. I washed them like normal and I even put them in the dryer because I forgot they were in the washer. And so they went in the dryer on full heat dry with my husband's work clothes and the, they look perfect as far as I'm concerned, other than a few loose threads, like I mentioned. So super, super pleased with those. So that was the Patriotic Plaid placemats. The next item that I picked up was another bucket crossbody, and this one is in the Kingbird plaid pattern. And um, I had been chatting with Miss Emma, who's one of my good friends through my YouTube journey and my Vera Bradley and all of that. We've become really good friends, so hey girl! <laughs> but I had been chatting with her about it, and I told her, I said, you know... I'm really worried that when this shows up, it's going to be crooked. It's not going to be sewn straight because we all know that Vera has been having a little bit of quality issues here and there. And especially when it comes to a pattern like this, that it's extremely noticeable if the pattern is not centered and straight. Um, yeah, I was really concerned about it. I was like, you know, I really hope I don't have to send this back because it's crooked so, I'm very, very pleased to report that it is sewn very nicely. It is straight. It has no wonky tilt. It, it looks great. And I'm really, really pleased with it because I do like plaids. And I love the interior of this pattern. So, again, this is that Kingbird plaid. And that's, that's a fairly accurate representation right there. It's just blacks and whites and grays. And that is right up my alley. So, the bucket crossbody, again, you have your non-removable but adjustable strap. The only pocket you have on the exterior is on the back right here. And it is a slip pocket for pretty much like your cell phone. There's my case. And mine sits right at the top. This pocket goes to about right here. It doesn't hit the bottom. The only negative thing I can say about this bag is that it was folded all ridiculously along the bottom again. Like, why the entire bottom didn't get fold back and it's got this weird roll to the bottom now, that irritates me to death. But I'll fix it. Like, I'll straighten it out. So, that's your only exterior pocket. And then on the inside... You have your standard two slip, one zip. So you get your two slip pockets if you can see those. And then you have one really nice size zip pocket. And I love the interior of this pattern. I just think it's gorgeous. But as I've mentioned a hundred times, y'all know black and white and gray is right up my alley. So... I finally gave in and got a piece of the Kingbird plaid. Next, I picked up another one of the packable raincoats. Um, I recently showed this one in Citrus Paisley. And Bag Lover, who was the winner of my last giveaway, had um, sent me a comment or a message and we were chatting a bit and she said that she was interested in one of these, but she wanted to know how it actually worked out for me because she said that she had seen some comments on Amazon mentioning that these raincoats didn't actually keep you dry. And I had not tried either of these at that point. It hadn't rained here. And after she told me that, I was like, shit. Oh God, like I just ordered another one of these and if they don't work, I'm like, oh my gosh, like if they don't keep me dry, what's the point? Well, I am happy to report in a way <laughs> that it did rain here recently and I did try out my citrus paisley and it kept me dry. Now I can see, let me pull this one open and show it to y'all real quick. This one is in Bloom Boom Navy. I don't know if I said that or not, but... The way that these are designed, I can see one issue <clears throat> after I used mine. 
and if you want a more in-depth review on this, go back a couple videos to one of my last Beer Bradley hauls. I really show these raincoats in more depth. But the one issue I could see is these are vented. So here's your hood. And then directly under your hood, you have these two panels. And underneath there, this is mesh. So from the inside, you can see my hand there. So there is just this mesh section and it's a vent because this is kind of, I don't want to say plasticky, but it is kind of a nylon-y, plasticky type feel to it. But that's how it keeps the rain off of you, right? So I could see if it was an absolute downpour and the wind was blowing just right that you could potentially get some rain that might get blown up and around that little vented section and potentially maybe that's what those people were talking about when they said that it didn't keep them completely dry but in a normal average you know storm rain shower whatever you want to call it it worked great for me. We had a pretty heavy, what I would just call a downpour, not a storm, but a pretty heavy downpour the other night. And, um, I went and picked up dinner. I wore my coat the entire time I was out, probably about 30 minutes, you know, there and back and going in and out of the restaurant and in and out of the house and all of that. And I was perfectly dry when I got back home. So I have zero complaints. I'm very glad that I picked up another one. So I'll show you an up close view of this pattern really quickly and then we'll move on. So again, this is the raincoat in Bloom Boom Navy. The last few pieces that I picked up were all smaller accessory pieces. So the first one is the bag charm for AirPods and black bandana medallion. Um, I have the factory outlet version of the little AirPods case, <clears throat> excuse me, and I love it. It's just a little pouch on a keychain. You can use it for anything that you want. And I had really hesitated about getting one of these because this again is the black bandana medallion print, which I do really like again because it's black and white. But I hesitated about these because the way these are designed, they kind of open up like a little book. A book. And then you have these two elastic pieces. And they're supposed to hold, you know, your wireless ear pods or headphones or whatever. And I thought, well, I don't think my, my earbuds will fit in this. And I don't know what I'm going to use this for. But again, Miss Emma gave me some ideas for how I could potentially use this. So while they were on sale, I went ahead and picked one up. So you have just a little carabiner clip right here. And then it just zips around and it's just your little AirPods case. Super cute. I'll let y'all know what I end up using it for. Or if I like it. Because I really like the factory version, but... We'll see how well I like this one. The next item I picked up is the clamshell readers case in black bandana medallion again. So it is just your standard readers case. I like these because they are a hard shelled case, but they're not too, you know, they're not too fat. They're not too plump. They don't take up too much space. So I really like these for whenever I wear my contacts and I just want to take my glasses with me. And I was super pleased. Look at how it meets up on the front there. It almost lined up perfectly, which is just crazy to me. So I was, that just made my day. Because I was like, look at that. The handbag god smiled down on me. <laughs> but anyway, this is just the little standard reader's case. No interior pattern. Um, it does have a little bit of a... Um, a soft lining to it if you will it's not fleecy or anything like that it's just a little bit softer so super happy with that 
And then the next item I picked up is the travel pill case in Rosie Outlook. So, if y'all remember, I was kind of disappointed with this pattern. Because the colors just aren't as vibrant and pretty in real life as they are online. And I just could not bring myself to give up on this pattern. Because online it is so gorgeous. The colors are so vibrant and so pretty. And I just I couldn't give up the idea of it yet. So I ordered the travel pill case because I thought, well, this has no quilting. <laughs> Maybe if there's no quilting, it won't interfere with the colors as much. It's no different. These colors still aren't as bright as they are online. So anyway, pretty happy with the way that the top of it looks, but the, the kind of the rest of it's pretty bare, but the top of it looked pretty good. So this is just your standard travel pill case. It zips around three sides, opens up. You have your little ID slot up here and then your actual pill container. Now, these are super handy if you take a lot of medications or you want to take, you know, say you take two medicines a day. This would work great for you to take on vacation or something like that. I don't use those. I just take the case out generally and then I use the little pouch part of it. So, we'll see. I have heard, uh, like, Warthog Princess talk about using these for earrings when she travels or things like that. So, I may give that a try. I may try to find a use for this. But, I bought it for this piece because this is a great little, just a little case for a bunch of different things. It's got some structure to it. The it's not hard, but it's firm on the top and the bottom. Well, the bottom's pretty hard. The sides are much more flexible if you've never had one of these. But the top and bottom are pretty firm. So, it's a good little case. You can put a lot of different items in it and use them a lot of different ways. So, that's the travel pill case in Rosie Outlook. And then last, but certainly not least, I picked up the Deluxe Travel Pill Case in Rose Toile. This is an item that I have looked at over and over and over, but I never could decide if I actually wanted it or not, or if I would actually use it or not. But, you know, it's Rose Toile and um, I love this pattern. So I thought if there was a time to get it, it was now. It was on sale. It was in a gorgeous pattern. You know, so I justified it. And I told y'all that I'm not, or I've mentioned that I'm not um, huge on pattern placement. It generally doesn't matter to me. But I love the butterflies on this pattern and check it out. I got a butterfly right on the front. What luck. What luck. The handbag gods were smiling upon me. <laughs> Um, this is kind of like the travel pill case and Rosie Outlook. The rest of it's, you know, it's whatever. Uh, but the front of it was really good. Look, I even got most of a butterfly on the little top right there too. That's crazy. So anyway, let's look at this item. Before we even open it up, this is a very, uh, rectangular item. It's, I thought from the pictures that it was more of a dome shape where it would kind of be more triangular on the side and kind of come up like this, but it's not. This is a very rectangular squared off item and I did not realize that. Um, not that it's a good or a bad thing, it's just an observation. So the main entry or the main pocket up here zips all the way down on both sides. So when you unzip it, it'll open pretty far. You have these gussets right here on each side, which, uh, let me get into it. So in the top right here, you get these three little plastic containers. And truth be told, I couldn't care less about these. This was not why I bought this item. I don't even know if I'll ever use those. 
but I was surprised at the quality of them. They are plastic, but they're a good thick plastic. They don't seem like they would break easily. I mean, you know, they sound like a good quality plastic. So you have those three containers in the main section. <clears throat> now, these gussets, if you can see, they're kind of U-shaped. So they come in and across on both sides, in and across. And I was going to use this pouch just for random items, right? So I wonder if I use it like that and my items push up against these gussets, if it could cause a problem getting caught in the zipper like that. I don't know that it will because I haven't tried it yet. It's just something that I wonder about. There is no interior pattern or print with this item. It is just a solid color with the little BB diamonds. And then on the bottom, you have another zip around section. And it goes pretty much around three sides. You can see the little fabric piece here on the back. And then it'll completely open like that. And then down here, you have three more little plastic containers that pop open like this. Um, these do not seem to be as good of quality as these, but they still seem pretty sturdy. Like, they seem fine. I don't see any issue with them. <clears throat> so this bottom section, this is another thing that I did not realize. The bottom of this It's padded from the cotton, but you can see this doesn't have a ton of flex. There's something in the bottom of this this part that's very firm. So whatever you have down here is going to have a little bit more protection. The sides are, you know, those are malleable. You can move those fine. But this bottom does have some sort of pretty firm base in it. So I like that. The bottom to the upper section right here. It's it's a thicker material, but it's just a material. There is no base to that piece. So, this is an interesting little item. I'm glad that I went ahead and picked it up because I didn't have any of these yet. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to use it, but if y'all have any ideas, let me know because it's a... Uh, definitely an interesting little piece and I'm glad that I got it until I find out if I'll actually use this one very much or not I probably won't get another one but I do like this I think it's a neat concept the way that they did it I think you could use it in a ton of different ways but if you guys have one of these let me know how you've used yours did you use it as it was intended for medications or what did you use it for? So that is the Deluxe Travel Pill Case in Rose Toile. So that's my video for today, y'all. My little, small, Vera Bradley friends and family haul. Um, as of recording this, the online outlet sale is still going for October. I think today is the last day. And thus far, you guys, I've held strong. I have not ordered anything yet. I don't know if that will change this month because if y'all remember, they got me on the very last day of the outlet sale last month. So I may just try to completely avoid it and not even look at it and then I won't buy anything if I don't look and they close it before I can. But anyway, so that was my little Vera Bradley friends and family haul. I hope that you guys found this enjoyable or if you were wanting a little bit more information about any of these items, I hope that I was able to help you guys. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or you just want to say hello, then as always, please leave me a comment down below because I love to chat with you guys. And one more thing before I go. If you've watched the video all the way through and you've got to this point, I had this thought in my mind. Like, y'all know how I like to do random videos sometimes. It's not just hauls and comparisons. I like to do the little, you know, like my five favorite whatever or my five whatever it is. Well, I had this thought that I might show y'all the very, very first handbag that I ever got from Vera Bradley, 
and then tell y'all a little bit about it. How I ended up with it, how I found out about Vera Bradley, the whole nine yards. And then I thought about potentially doing a little series along with that to show some of your all's handbags, like your first handbag that you ever got from Vera or your first, um, or your favorite Vera Bradley handbag or whatever it is. So if any of y'all would be interested in taking part in that, it'll probably be, um, a few months from now because I have to get a few things together. I have to go dig that bag out because <laughs> it's in storage right now. But if you're interested in taking part in that video, send me a picture of your first Vera Bradley handbag or your favorite Vera Bradley handbag in your collection. My email is always linked in the description box. So I hope that you guys want to do this. If, um, if there's not that many of y'all that really want to take part in it or what have you, then I'll just, I'll just put up whatever I get. If nobody wants to show their first handbag or their favorite handbag, then by all means, that's perfectly fine too. Just, I thought it would be fun to include y'all in some of my videos because I wouldn't be here making them if y'all weren't willing to watch them and chat with me about it. So I just thought it would be a fun way for us to interact. So again, my email is always linked in the description box. And if you want to participate in that video that I'm going to do sometime coming up, then take a picture or send me a few pictures of your favorite Vera Bradley handbag or your first Vera Bradley handbag or both if that's what you want to do. Just send them to my email. So I'm going to shut up now for good and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.